Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Nest With Me video. So up until the point I deliver baby Tatum, I plan on uploading a Nest With Me video for you guys every single Wednesday. So you guys can expect that here on my channel. I am 29 weeks with her and she is popping today. She's really low today. She kind of changes position quite frequently. Some days she's a little higher, but most days she sits pretty low. It's hard for me to even cross my legs most days, but anyways, there's a few things that I want to get done on my list today. One of those being um, building the changing table that she's going to be using in our master bedroom. So again, we do not have a room for her at this house currently because we are going to be moving here in about four or five months or so we plan on moving into our new home in may and she will most likely be born the last week of march or the first week of april so it'll be about two months or so until we move in so anyways after adam gets home from work i'm gonna have him build that and then get her changing table all set up with her diapers and wipes and blankets and swaddles and stuff like that i got a few bins from target the other day to organize that stuff in and I've gotten quite a few things for her recently not clothing wise just like bottles and random things that I'm gonna sit down and do a haul later on in this video for you guys too with links to everything if you are interested but the girls are at school right now and Grayson is down for a nap so I'm gonna take this time to go through their closets and declutter and take out clothing that no longer fits them their closets are packed full to the brim of stuff and half of it no longer fits them. So the stuff that I'm going to save from Bailey's, I'm gonna pass down to Shay. And the stuff that I wanna save for both of them to pass down to Tatum, I'm gonna put in a bin. So I'm gonna head up there and work on the girls' closets first. And then once Grayson wakes up, I'll move on to his room. Aren't you tired of the drama? You use your words like they are knives mm -hmm. I don't need that type of drama And trying to be tough all the damn time You try to make yourself feel better by taking me down Once I fell but now I'm strong, I'm ready for the rematch So how often do you guys go through your kids clothes because I feel like I need to do this a lot more than I actually do but it always seems so daunting for some reason but I always feel so much better once it's done. One's love is now So I'm curious on how many of you girls are pregnant with me this time. Let me know in the comments if you're having a boy or a girl and when your due date is. Let me tell you this, let me tell you right now, your exquisite kiss still burning, 
didn't know I missed this passion in life Now I'm addicted So now let me tell you why What is up with your smile? It's impossible, not melting Irresistible When I look through your eyes Not even sky's the limit I used to be satisfied Stayed over the surface Now I just can't get enough You make me feel good Like no other I just want everyone To see what I've discovered And when I'm with you I go higher You lift me up Now I can see so much further Beyond the To live and cry, to appreciate life And what you give is worth it When you're holding me, when you hold me so close I want further in under your skin Wanna leave a mark so that I can be sure That you remember what's been I used to be satisfied Stayed over the surface Now I just can't get enough Okay, I just finished organizing Shay's closet. I have not yet done her dresser, but everything is off the floor in her closet. So I went through and organized all of her clothes. I got rid of things that were too small for her, donated the stuff that I did not want to keep for Tatum. I kept quite a few things for Tatum, um, and then I just made sure that all of the hangers matched. That is a little tip for you guys. Um, make sure that the hangers that you're using all coordinate we had a few that were plastic and we get to that point when I forget to declutter their closet before I add things in for a new season so they just have like a ton of stuff in their closet and you feel like you need more hangers but you really don't because you just haven't gone through and gotten rid of some of the stuff that no longer fits them so that's what I did it was long overdue it looks way better now so she has her coats back here her leotards and then everything is in rainbow order which just makes it so much more appealing <laughs> to the eye and then this is some of her stuff that's like memorabilia like her swaddles that I brought her home from the hospital and there's a space heater up there a few of her shoes most of them we keep downstairs um, some extra blankets in there a little sun hat um, so her closet is done now I'm gonna move on to her dresser Smile that makes the sun rise You make it shine But I can see that you don't
Okay, I cannot rave about these drawer dividers enough. If you really wanna take your organizing to the next level, these help so much. I have the white ones in the kids' rooms, and then I ordered the acrylic ones for Tatum's clothes. They're linked in my Amazon store under organization. So as you can see, this bow drawer was out of control. I can't even remember the last time I went through this. So what I did was take out all the bows from this organizer and I went through and sorted them by pigtail bows. Those are the ones that Shay wears the most and then the single larger bows that Bailey wears more often. And then I also had a ton of old baby bling bows that Shay used to wear that I can now pass down to Tatum. I thought organizing the bows by color like I do with their clothes would make it so much easier for me to find because when I go to pull outfits for the girls and I'm looking for a bow that coordinates, I can never find two that match. So I'm really gonna try and keep up with this.
Lights out, hearts beating faster in a minute I'm high on slow dancing with you One, two, three, keep it going, last forever All blacked out, then flying with you I don't care that my mind's gone insane And my heart will burst into flames No, I don't care about the heart Okay, Shay's dresser is done. It's all organized. I'm going to show you guys really quick what it looks like. So this is her pajama drawer. And by doing this, you realize what the kids need more of. So Shay needs some more pajamas. She is good on pants. This is her leggings, shorts, jeans drawer. She has a lot of navy blue um, leggings and shorts because that's what she wears to school. And then up here, this is her tights drawer, mostly just tights for dance. This one is socks and tights for school. This one is just underwear, I just throw them in there, <laughs> nothing special. And then this is her pull-up drawer, which she is out of pull-ups now. She doesn't wear them at night. She was potty trained for a long time, but she wore pull-ups at night for a while, but she is fully potty trained now and wears underwear to bed, so I can get rid of those. And then this is her bow drawer. So I kept all the pigtail clips in Shay's room because she usually wears pigtails. So she has two sets of each bow, and I color coordinated them by rainbow, so now I can find them so much easier. And I got rid of a ton that had no matches or were just like dingy and old or were missing clips. Um, so that looks a lot better. And then this is her bathing suit drawer. And then this is everything that I'm saving for Tatum. So this is a lot of Shay's clothes that no longer fit her that I'm gonna pass down to her along with a ton of baby bling bows that Shay no longer wears, a ton of shoes from the girls that will get passed down to her and then donation. And I have like one or two more bags of donation in the hallway too. Okay, I'm in Bailey's room. These are all the bows that I kept for her. So these are all like single larger bows because I usually do a big bow in her hair. And so I think before I do her closet and her dresser, I'm gonna reorganize all the bows on her little crochet thing that's hanging on her wall. This is how I've organized all of Bailey's bows and it seems to work out really well and they're all visible. So yeah, I'm gonna do that right now. Even if you try, you wouldn't understand it. Maybe something's missing inside of you. Just a bit of sugar to that heart bitter. Maybe you taste different. Hold up, hold up, baby. I can't sit beside you while you're going on about your simple life. Nothing left you thinking that maybe you're not different. It never hit you Our conversation takes to Paying it some interest From time to time Inside all that greatness In all of your adventures You're all alone Hold up, hold up, baby I can't sit beside you 
while you're going on about your simple life. Nothing left you thinking that maybe you're not different. And I had no idea when I was going to show you guys in Bailey's drawers that she actually took it upon herself to go and fold her underwear like that. That was not my doing. I normally just like throw them in their drawer. That's like the one drawer that I do not organize, but it's so funny to see some of the traits that your kids take after. So all in all, between both the girls' rooms, it took me about five hours to declutter, like really declutter and really organize and go through their spaces, um, including like their bows. That took a long time too. Um, but the girls were at school and Grayson was down for a nap. So I was able to get through both of their rooms without having to take breaks in between. But oh my gosh, my back was killing me by the end of this. Like the next day I could feel it for sure being 29 weeks pregnant. It definitely took a toll on my body, but I feel so much better now that this is done. You get too close, I lose my way and I freeze. I wish you knew.
Okay, I just finished Bailey's closet. So similar to Shay's, everything is in rainbow order. She has her coats back there, school uniform, and then everything is color coordinated with the same hangers. Some of the shoes she doesn't wear every day. Some hats up there. And then I'll show you guys her dresser. So up here are all of Bailey's bathing suits. This drawer has her socks and her school uniform, leggings and shorts, some of her tights. Down here is her underwear drawer and her tights for dance. This drawer is completely empty. Down here are her long sleeve PJs, Christmas PJs, short sleeve PJs. And then down here are all of her leggings, jeans, and jean shorts. Okay, now I'm gonna have Adam build Tatum's changing table. So we're gonna have this probably in our bedroom, like right over here, and then I'll move the mirror to the other side of the room. Um, that way, all of her clothes and stuff are within reach. And then the snoo will go right here, like it did with Grayson. So this is like, Kind of a gold it's more like a brass i think and then a cream so i'm gonna have him build this and then i'll show you guys how i organize it you were my best friend didn't care about the rules good on the weekends i'll be in fools drifting the deep space so brave and so stupid just like the movies I was gonna stay in the fight with you Just thinking we would do this until we couldn't do it Each and every high, every night with you You and me so clueless We were just broken, shattered Singing along to nothing matters Stray around like nighttime rumors We were in too deep Adam just finished putting together the changing table and I love it. I think it's perfect. I need to remove the stickers obviously, but this would work for a little boy or a little girl. So it's more gold than um, bronze, but it's not like blinding gold. Um, and this is a fabric, so kind of resembles like a tuft bed frame. And then this is the changing pad that we're gonna use for her. So this was Grayson's and he still kind of uses it. We mostly change them on the floor. I just brought it down from his room to show you guys. It fits in there perfectly. It's the Kikaroo. I love this thing so much. You can't even tell that it's been used because of the material. It wipes clean really easily. So if they have an accident or something, you don't have to take off the changing pad cover and put it in the wash and all of that. So we have really liked this with Grayson. So we're obviously gonna reuse it with um, Tatum. Anyways, I'll link both the changing table and this Kikaroo changing pad down below. And then I also got these from Target to put down here for wipes and diapers. So I'll do wipes in one and then diapers in the other. And then I'm thinking I want to do like two wicker baskets on the very bottom for like swaddles and blankets and stuff. And then I think I want to get a shelf or two for above the changing table to put like wipes that we're currently using that way we don't have to like reach down below every time we go to change her and then have like her diaper cream and her lotions and stuff like that up on the shelf for easy access. So still need to find a shelf or two 
So I don't know, I'll probably look on Amazon or Target or something. But since this video is already like a half hour long, I think I'm going to end it here and I will share how I organized everything on the changing table and I will share a haul of everything that I've purchased for her up until this point in my next nest with me. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope it gave you some motivation to tackle a space in your home that needed some organizing. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.